What's mobbing with it, man? God bless y'all in Jesus' name. Y'all know what time it is. We're going to get it in once again. Proverbs 1, verse 7. The fear is the beginning of knowledge, and fools despise wisdom. Let's break that down real quick. The fear is the beginning of knowledge. Well, we understand to fear the Lord. That fear produces an obedient love and understanding that we cannot lean on our own understanding for the sake of that's why we seek out the Lord's guidance and it is out of love it is out of worship it is out of surrender it is out of us trusting and placing our faith in God in Christ knowing that he knows better than we do hallelujah and a fool now why would a fool despise wisdom well, for one, if we understand in the biblical definition of what a fool is, a lot of the time it refers to a selfish or wicked individual. So in essence, we need to understand the reason why a fool despises wisdom is because it can't take credit. This person cannot take credit for what it is trying to take credit for when what has God has done. Excuse me. What God has done, a fool can't take credit for. So and the reason why a fool would despise wisdom is for the sake of it truly shows how powerless and how ignorant that individual truly is. And once again, it is selfish. It is prideful because a fool is trying to take credit for what God does. In essence, trying to be God. That's why a fool despises wisdom because it will take away all credit from an individual knowing what's best for them. And so by default, they will try to exchange wisdom for godly wisdom. I mean, uh, for worldly wisdom, godly wisdom for worldly wisdom. And I also want to break that down too. my apologies, man, getting a little ahead of myself. But uh, yeah, man, so godly wisdom and worldly wisdom are two different things. Worldly wisdom is selfish, prideful, and it is rooted in sin. And it will lead you to living a life of sin because you can only lean on your own understandings by having worldly wisdom. Godly wisdom produces a righteous way of living, being obedient unto the Father. So let's make sure that we understand at the end of the day, are we living and obedient to godly wisdom and, and by the fear of God and the fear is the beginning of instruction meaning that we understand that God knows better for us as believers and we understand as a fool meaning an individual who wants to try to take credit for what God has given us our thoughts knowing better all of these things so understand do not be a foolish individual that is selfish puffed up with pride and all of them things for the sake of understanding the reason why fools despise wisdom is because it removes all of what they thought they were for the sake of placing it and who righteously deserves it and that is god he is all-knowing he is the beginning the end hallelujah once again, man, godly wisdom is different from worldly wisdom. So make sure that you don't fall into worldly wisdom, feeling like, you know what I'm saying, that it's godly wisdom. Two different things. Godly wisdom, you rely only on what God's understandings are and knowing that you're submitted and surrendered and obedient to his will. Worldly wisdom is you are relying on your own understanding and you think that you know what's best for yourself and you are living out the will of your thoughts and what you feel you want to do for your life once again. So understand that. And the fear is the beginning of knowledge. That fear that you have for the Lord, it produces a love and an obedience and understanding that that's how much the Lord loves us and the love that we have for the Father. That we understand that he knows better because before Christ, if we examine our lives, when we were wretched sinners, what good choices did we really make for ourselves and for our own will and what we thought was best for our lives? 
And in all reality, we were walking down a path of destruction. So let's be honest, we didn't know what was going on. We didn't have the best outcome for our life. We didn't make the best decisions. And that's when we were leaning on our own understanding. So now the fear of the Lord and us leaning on God's understanding for our life, that's why it is the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of wisdom, wisdom and understanding that God knows what's best for us. Hallelujah. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Love y'all. Hog my ministries. Pray for my hood. Salute, man. Y'all be blessed today, man.